Hello, everyone. We are at Six Flags Fright Fest. I'm really excited. So I've been disappointed by Fright Fest in the past, but over the years it's gotten better, but it was always worse than the other two, Knott's Berry Farm and Universal. So now they rebranded to, hey, they rebranded to Extreme. So we'll see how it is th this year. So we're gonna do all the mazes and then I'll give you my final report. Okay, some business first. Now, if you have your season pass, you can enter the park, but you need to buy a separate wristband for the mazes. It's really confusing on the website. They make it sound like you have to buy a ticket to enter and the wristband. So um, if you can't figure it out, just click on the ticket to buy it. And then later on, you'll see haunted houses only. And that's what you get if you've got a season pass. Okay, so I've got the wristband and uh, <laughs> and uh, last year I didn't even get to go into Saw or some of the mazes in the back of the park. So I think this year I'm going to start in the back. This is the Carni -hell, Carnivahel Scare Zone. You know I'm not a thing about scare zones, they never really scare me. Sometimes Knox gets it right, but we'll see. Oh, there's a friend. See, that's why it's good for me to wear a yellow shirt. Because, you know, BBG, darkness, contrast. Well, here's their fog machine. Maybe you should have started that a little sooner. But, uh, it's an interesting scare zone. Lots of friendly people around. Whoa, hey. I'm rarely here at nighttime. This looks really cool. Okay, so looks like we're gonna start with the saw maze. Well, this is a good sign, not a lot of people. Okay, well, here it is. And um, yeah, let's see how this is. having a bad day. Okay, you know what? Going through a base by yourself is just scary and it's not scary fun. So <laughs> yeah, I know I'm a big coward. Anyways, saw great maze. Let's move on to another one. West Coast racers at night. That's got to be amazing. I'm having a little trouble taping here because my phone doesn't seem to do very well in the darkness, but we're gonna do the best we can. So, um, what is this called? This is Nocturnal Hunt. This is Army of the Dead. Okay, so Nocturnal Hunt it is, because apparently the exit is right next to the entrance of the other one. Yo! <laughs> okay, okay, well look, I have some people with me, so I'm not by myself. And, um, um, so these wonderful people behind me, um, even though they're with me, what is it, this way? That way, okay. Even though they're with me, they want me to be in front so I could get killed. Thank you very much, people. Whoa! Damn, why, I, I'm just so easy to... What the hell? What the hell is this? Okay. I didn't know what that was. Oh, jeez. Oh! Damn! <laughs> okay, well, that was Nocturnal Hunt, which leads directly into Army of the Dead, so let's do that. Are you guys enjoying how jumpy I am? Ugh. Employee entrance! Let's see where this leads. Oh, wow. Like some sort of Vegas buffet. Not very appetizing. Whoa! 
Okay. Can I just not jump out every time I see something? Can I can I just not not do that? Well, I've been walking around for a while, no scare actors! Oh! Just when I thought there were no scare actors. Okay. Whoa! I just need to uh, get out of here. Okay, so I just did Nocturnal Hunt and Army of the Dead which should just really be one big maze. So, uh, so that's three down so far. And um, yeah, <laughs> I'm loving it. Right next to Wonder Women, we've got a maze called Stranger Things. So let's give that a try. Entrance. Welcome to Carissa. Welcome to Hawkins. Okay, well. Hog go! Jeez. Uh oh! Okay, I don't like this. Whoa! Creepy! <laughs> okay, well, that was a good maze. Um, how are we now? Four for four? <laughs> It's a little on the short side, but well-designed. Crazy Anity just looks so cool at night. Wow. So, right next to um, Hall of Justice is the entrance to Trick or Treat. It's a new one, which I've never seen before, so this should be exciting. Here's a Trick or Treat. Okay. Here we are in Trick or Treat. Oh, when they do that little water thing. Man, I'm pretty tall and this is a uh, Whoa! Oh, wow. That was good. Okay, this is interesting. Okay, trick or treat. <laughs> that was really, really good. Man, I just, I don't know why I'm so jumpy, okay? I'm gonna have more bravery for the next maze, okay? Okay, well, here I am in that area near Ninja where uh, Sewers of Souls and uh, the Willow Bees are traditionally. And um, yeah, let's do Sewer of Souls now. Well, and it's right here. The entrance to Sewer of Souls. Hello. <laughs> I've been in Sewer Souls so many times, it doesn't really change that much. Oh. There's that place where you have to dock. Oh, jeez. This place again. Imagine all the bacteria that's along the sides. Well, Sewer Souls was what I expected with a few surprises. Um, I guess that's the Willow Bees, as usual, over there. Oh, wow. There's, like, nobody here. Here's Willoughby again. I expect it to be the same like it is every year. Okay, well, it looks like the entrance is there now. Instead of here, as usual. Okay, so here we are in the Willoughby's, a different entrance. Okay. My god, that is way cool. <laughs> I didn't think people could actually do that. Okay. Well, that was fun. That's a classic Willoughby's. Come out of the Willoughby's here and down these stairs past Tatsu should be the way to the Conjuring. 
I've got to say, I still have a few mazes left to do, but uh, Six Flags, you really upped your game. That's great. So this is the conjuring, and it looks like it's a walk-on. Everything's a walk-on today. Okay. Well, this is interesting. Uh... Oh, wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, jeez. Wow! Oh, man. I'm such a fraidy cat. Oh! Oh, my God. Team! I'm getting out of here. That needs to be seen! Oh, wow. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Holy! Jeez! What the hell's going on here? Whoa! <laughs> that has to be one of the best mazes I've ever been in. And, and the fact that it's not really crowded and I was basically by myself, that probably added to it. But wow, that was a really good maze. That was high quality. Like double BBG approved. <laughs> This uh, super fun scare zone. Hello. Did you come to play in the fog? Um, just a walk through. Oh man. People on stilts. The scare actors are really interactive tonight. Well, there aren't a lot of people. It's almost empty. Here is X2. Should I go on X2 again in the dark? I don't think I could get lucky with a viral video twice, can I? I don't think you'd be able to see anything in the dark. Okay, let's do this. Oh, the things I do for views. Oh man, here we go again. Well, maybe it'll be too dark and people won't see anything. Oh no, here we go. Oh my God! Okay, X2 is done. You know, all you people who say like, nope, when you see me riding X2, you've got a point, okay? It's, it's one of those things that every time I get on it, I regret it. So, um, but why do I do it? Well, you know, views. I have to say that this is the very first time that I come to Fright Fest and everything's a walk on. Usually Fright Fest is packed, but before it used to be only on Saturdays and Sundays and this is the first year that they're doing it on a Thursday night so come on a Thursday people you know how I feel about people on still weird so this is called truth or dare hey. welcome to truth or dare America's favorite game show do you think you have what it takes to be a part of the biggest televised event in history? Just head on over to the Georgia Theater Grand County Office. Okay. The weirdness in here. Oh. Gridlock. Well, this can't actually be lasers. Whoa! Well, that was truth or dare, which is actually really, really good. They changed a lot of it, so it's full of surprises. <laughs> okay, um, I believe there's two more to go. So this one is called Vault 666 Unlocked. Okay, let's do this. Oh! 
another person having a bad day. Look, I'm the jumpiest person in the world. If you can't make me jump, <laughs> then, uh, maybe the B-list people come here. Okay, well, Vault 666, um, a little bit of a disappointment, but there are 11 mazes here, and so far I've liked um, eight of them. So that's, that's a good score. The last house of the night, it's called Condemned. Well, let's go for it. Whoa! Okay. Jeez. I'm outside the maze now, and um, I mean it was all right. It wasn't uh, as bad as Willow Bees and Six Six Six. It was all right. Well, I've done all eleven mazes here at Six Flags Fright Fest Extreme, and definitely worth it. They've upped their game. They're still not quite at the level of uh, Knott's Berry Farm and Universal, but that was really good. I had a great time, especially <laughs> with everything being a walk-on. So yeah, Thursday night. I don't know if they'll be continuing Thursday night next year if they keep on getting this few people. So take advantage of it this year. So I'm gonna be heading home now. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, you know, I've taped several videos in a very short amount of time, so I don't remember what the last one's gonna be. So click on it right there. Support me by subscribing, commenting, and have a great night. I am the BBG.